Uh, I'm David Baltimore. I'm a professor at Caltech. I've been here 20 years, and for most of 30 years before that, I was associated with MIT. I'm now sitting at my computer in the chaos of my office. Too many piles, too many things that I want to keep around me. So there are two different uses of CRISPR. One is to repair genes which we can, I think all agree, are defective relative to uh, people who have not, don't have those genes, like Huntington's or um, cystic fibrosis or others. And that, at least from my point of view, is a relatively simple ethical problem. When you get to genes that are not defective, but rather are sort of quantitatively not everything you want. A gene for height is a good example. Then you, now, now you have this ethical problem. Now, you could say, if we knew every possible interaction that a gene might have with, with other genes, if we knew every effect that that gene has on the body, then we could be quite certain that what it's going to do is give you an average of six inches more of height and nothing else, then maybe you'd want to think about doing it uh, because it wouldn't be, there'd be, in a sense, no downside. I don't actually think that's likely to ever happen because there are downsides in general and six inches of height changes the whole physiology of the body. Technology is not perfected to the point where we can say with confidence that there won't be off-target effects, effects in other parts of the genome that we don't want to touch. And so uh, I don't think picking out one gene and optimizing it in a sense is necessarily ever going to be without risk. Mm -hmm.